Hello, users, and welcome to another episodic installment of Above It All, the series in which I talk about how great UBI is and how bad Andrew Yang is. But that's not important right now because Andrew Yang actually did something that I like. He kind of gave like a little bit of a soft endorsement of Bernard here. So first, I would like to provide, before we get too knee-deep into this story, I'd like to provide everyone with a trigger warning. If you are a Yang ganger and you made it this far and you haven't already disliked the video and wrote like a 16,000 paragraph essay you copied and pasted from Discord, I'm sorry. I am very critical of Andrew Yang. I personally would rather have a universal basic income that does not cut food stamps and that also has a Medicare for All system. That's my opinion. I understand if you don't want Medicare for all and you'd rather people spend a thousand dollars on cancer treatment instead of actually like things that they could use the money for like bills or whatever. I get it. You just hate poor people and you want free money for yourself and you don't want to do that much thinking or work about anything. That's okay. Just, you know, I would prefer if you just don't leave a don't leave a novel that you copied and pasted from Discord. Don't like, you know, dislike the video fifteen times. Don't link it on Twitter and tell your Yang gangers like, hey, let's go attack this individual. Cause every time I make an Andrew Yang video, I get like thirty fucking views. Like thirty comments of like people literally writing the same thing. You are so misguided. Ha ha ha. And it's like just, you know, get over it already. Like your candidate sucks and hopefully in a week from now he'll have dropped out. But that being said, um, for those of you that don't know how caucuses work, um, mostly I would assume if you're a Yang ganger, you don't know how caucuses work. Basically, you don't know how primaries work in general. You need to get 15% in uh, any of these primaries in order to, to get a single delegate. That is the threshold. If you get less than 15%, you might as well have just fucked your own ass because your vote was worthless. Um, but the way the caucuses work specifically is you basically get a chance that if if you group up and say like, hey, we want Andrew Yang and there's only going to be two of you in the room because nobody else gives a fuck about that guy, you have an option to go with another candidate because you need to get 15% in order to be viable. So because nobody gives a flying fuck about Andrew Yang, you're probably not going to be able to actually caucus for him in Iowa. And again, I'm sorry, but... I you have to get serious. This is an actual election. Like, Twitter in real life are two different things, two different timelines, two different universes. I get it. Andrew Yang is, like, your god. And I understand. And I'm, I'm not trying to be offensive here. I'm just, you know, I'm I'm trying to provide, like, you know, my, my olive branch. Like, I understand that you have, like, a pathological obsession with this guy. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop shitting on the Yang gang. Because, honestly, like... I, I really can't help it, but seriously, like, this is pretty good. Um, I think that, uh, basically, I'm going to quote him in this story here. I think that Bernie and I do have a lot of overlap and support, so it wouldn't be surprising to me if many of our supporters head in that direction. I frankly think I'd have a hard time getting them to do anything that they're not naturally inclined to do. I think most people are going to show up on caucus night with a few top choices in mind, and I imagine if I'm not viable at their caucus, that they know exactly what they're going to do. Now, I just want to say, I like Andrew Yang a lot more than I like Andrew Yang's supporters. Like, you know everything that people love to say about Bernie supporters, like, oh, the Bernie bro, it's the toxic white male, even though, like, we're mostly, like, women. We're, mo like, mostly, like, people that are non-white. We have the highest support range of people that are non-white. I'm white, so, you know, I can't really do that. But, you know, Bernie bros are just kind of like a racist uh, and, and sexist kind of, like erasure um but that that same criticism that people use against bernie supporters literally can actually be used at yang supporters because at least with bernard like we want health care like me my mom's dead because she didn't have health care whoops so now i have to spend the rest of my life without a mom andrew yang supporters are mostly like they're just dude bros that want to jerk off watch like anime and porn all day and just want to spend a thousand bucks a month on hentai or something so like at least at that point you know, it, you know, and I, you know, I'm not, you know, I like Andrew Yang again. I like Andrew Yang, but if you're the Yang gang, I mean, it really is a cult of personality. I'm sorry. Like if I were forced to make you like a top five list, honestly, Andrew Yang would be number two, maybe number three, um, one, like a first place Bernard, and then like a massive, like, like football field, like power gap. And then Andrew Yang and Tulsi Gabbard are kind of, you know, they're mixed. 
Um, and then, you know, the rest of them are just garbage. But, uh, at, you know, at the same time, I do like that Yang is actually saying this, because, again, most of his supporters actually have no idea how caucuses work. Most of his supporters have no idea how elections work. They don't know about the 15% threshold. I've had, like, conversations with literally dozens of Yang gangers that literally just had no idea that there was a 15% threshold. Like, I'm talking, like, weeks ago. Like, two weeks before Iowa, I'm saying, like, well, what are you going to do if he doesn't hit 15%? And then I'll go, like, and then they'll go, like, well, it doesn't matter if we hit 15%. It doesn't matter. You know, you're just going to go and get support. We're going to go, go, go. Like, it's, it's, it's honestly a little silly. I really do hope that, and this is what I've been saying the whole time, I hope that Yang does drop out and support Bernie Sanders, like, full on, because his support is a non-zero number. It's 5% or so. And in places that actually have primary elections, like New Hampshire, like, that 5%, or even, I think it's a slightly higher in New Hampshire, I'm not entirely sure, but, like, Yang and Gabbard combined could definitely boost the Bernard into taking a whole sweep in New Hampshire, you know what I mean? But I'm glad that at least with caucuses there is that chance to go like, oh shit, my my candidate sucks cock and nobody I'm the only person here that likes him. I guess I'll just go to Bernie's team. Like you know, it really it really is pretty good. And I you know, I'm glad that he's saying that cuz again, I'm not, I'm certain that it, there's at least 50% of the people that are like self-identified as Yang Gang that just don't understand how primaries or caucuses work. So I'm glad he's saying that. And honestly, again, I'm not trying to be offensive here. Like, you know, if you like Andrew Yang, if he's your number one, that's okay. Just don't, you know, copy and paste 16 fucking paragraph essays from Discord to post in my comment section. Because that's just creepy. I'm sorry. It's just creepy. You got to think for yourself. And uh, if you do think for yourself, I think you'd be able to realize that Bernard Sanders is the obvious choice here. Andrew Yang, maybe in 20 years from now, when we've had a Medicare for All system, we have a housing for all system, we have high speed internet across the entire country, maybe then Andrew Yang could work. Honestly, I do like UBI. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I think UBI is a great idea. It's just, I'd rather have UBI with rent control control so that my landlord doesn't increase my rent by a thousand dollars and I just get fucked out in the, in the ass you know I'd rather have that so just saying um you know like what people said last time vote your conscious uh your conscience even um do that and then once you realize you're the only person in the caucus room that actually cares about this guy I hope you actually get serious and vote for Bernard Sanders and, uh, yeah, I'm really sorry. Like, I honestly kind of do apologize. Like, I did not mean to turn, like, a, this is a positive Andrew Yang story. I totally didn't mean to turn that into shitting on Andrew Yang for 10 minutes. But, you know, I really can't, I, I honestly can't help it yet. He hasn't dropped out. So, I mean, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Oh, I know what to do. Vote Bernie. <laughs>